Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another achievement guide in Untitled Goose Game. Today we're going to be going for the achievement, The Back Gardens, quickly. And for this achievement, we just need to complete the Back Gardens to-do list before the church bells ring. Which means that we will need to complete the to-do list in 7 minutes or less. You can check your progress of the to-do list by pressing the back or select button to open the to-do list. And if you have done one of the tasks before the church bells have rang, they will show a little red bell next to them. After the church bells have rang, this red bell will go away. So if you're wondering if they have ring or not already, you can always check this to-do list to find out. And if you don't get the to-do list done within the allotted seven minutes, you can always just reset the area, which will also reset the church bells so you can try again. Everything on the list will need to be done without resetting because resetting will also reset the church bells and the achievement progress. You are only able to do this achievement after you have finished the game and brought the golden bell back to your home. This is easily the hardest of the achievements in which we need to complete an area quickly. The strategy for this one is going to be getting the tasks in which we need to collect stuff, like helping the woman dress up the bust, and doing the washing done first, as well as doing the tasks in which we need to wait for the NPCs to do or interact with something done last. That way we don't have to worry about the man picking up and moving our items as we're collecting them, and so that we get most of the running around and swapping between yards done early. So once we are ready to start the achievement, let's make our way over to the back gardens area and select the reset from the start menu. That way the church bell timer is reset and we can start the achievement. We're going to go ahead and start the achievement by making our way through the man's backyard and into the ladies, where we are going to very quickly grab the purple vase and bring it back to the man so he can throw it over and break the vase. Next up, we're going to start collecting the items for the do the washing task. Since our gate to the woman's backyard is still open, let's run to the bottom of her yard and grab the bra. Bring it over to the man's backyard and put it in the small fountain up against the wall. Ideally, you would have enough time to grab both of the socks as well, but since the lady is putting back up the gate, we are going to collect the soap instead. So pull out the drawer in the desk at the top of her backyard, and then grab the soap and make your way over to the man's backyard. From here, just walk past him making sure that he doesn't see you, and drop the soap in the same location as the bra in the small fountain. Since the lady is currently distracted, let's make our way back over to her yard to grab the two socks. Once again, put both of them in the small fountain. And lastly, we will just need one of the slippers from the old man. The easiest slipper to get is when he is reading the newspaper, so when he is, sneak up to him and take his slipper. We are once again going to bring this to the small fountain, and that should complete the do the washing task. Next up, we're going to start getting everything that we need to help the woman dress up the bust. These are all located on top of the small table next to the man. Wait until the newspaper is in front of his face, and then grab each of the three items, the pipe, the hat, and the glasses, and collect them in the corner of the fence by the rows. You'll need to wait until the newspaper is in front of his face to steal each of the items. Once we have all three of the items for the bust, let's start bringing them over to the lady's yard, where they will be safe from the man taking them.
Since the gate is still open, we're going to slide the boxed rose down the path and put it next to the squirrel shaped hedge. Then very quickly go over to the woman's backyard and use the grab button to destroy the hedge. She will eventually grab her clippers to repair the hedge and accidentally cut the rose. While we're waiting for that to happen, let's bring all the items that we need to dress up the bust over to the bust and just drop them in the basin beneath it. Next up, let's head back over to the man's backyard and wait for him to start drinking tea. This will allow us to take the second slipper while he is mid-sip. So wait for him to be drinking the tea, and then crouch and sneak up on him to steal the slipper. Hopefully the man continues drinking the tea. If he is, make your way over to the lady's backyard and walk towards the bell. Once the man has the cup up to his lips, press the grab button on the small hammer and ring the bell to make him spit out his tea. Now very quickly make your way back over to the man's backyard via either desk or the hole in the fence if the lady hasn't put it back up. Now once she is distracted by arguing with the man about the bell, go over to her side and find the goose statue. Grab it from its tail and pull it over into the man's backyard. And just place it where she can't see it behind the fence near the rose. Then just make sure that you grab the red bow tie and head back over to her backyard and place it in a very visible location. Now walk to where the goose statue just was and press the grab button to disguise yourself as the statue. If this is your last task and you are already done with all the collecting so they can't be ruined when the man finds the items, go ahead and honk to get both of their attentions. When the lady comes by to investigate, she will put up the fence and then see the red bow tie placed close by and then lastly put it on you. And once again, if you have completed all the tasks in the seven minute time limit, you will get the achievement. All right, that is going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.